Hey, Shalom, Israel. Uh, first off, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. I want to give uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and want to say peace and blessings to the elect Akim that's out there pushing the word in truth and sincerity. Uh, I just want to do a quick lesson, man, uh, just on the scripture and wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, that I was looking at because we had went out to camp uh, this past weekend and we had some sodomite demons coming up uh, in the spirit of Satan scoffing, you know. So that's just one of the many things that brothers going to have to endure as we fight to push this word, you know, to the elect, hoping for our kingdom, hoping for our salvation through Yahweh Shai. Uh I'm going to go ahead and get to it, though. Uh, this is in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3. It says, uh, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the Most High. And there shall no torment touch them. So uh, little do these people know, man, like the men of the Lord, even though in their eyes, they just probably just view us as just typical niggas, Latinos and spicks, man. We're the men of the Lord. And the reason why we're the men of the Lord, because we were ordained, you know, to, to go out and, and preach the, the word of the Lord, you know, to push the prophecies that are coming, you know, to, to spread the message to the elect of, of Israel so salvation can come. But it says, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of the most high. And there shall no torment touch them. So even though you people in the back of your mind, if you could have it your way, you would love to torment and kill us and put all types of hell on us. Or I guess just move us out of sight, get us off these corners. But this is the Most High's program, man. This, this thing is going just the way that the Most High had it orchestrated from the foundation of the earth, man. You know? So if we're those elect men, man, we ain't going to have to worry about no torment touching us. But I'm going to keep reading down. It says... In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. And all of you people, man, before us that we have to uh, have the displeasure to, to, to waste sight on, man, y'all are unwise. You know, in, 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 in y'all's feeble mind, we seem to die. We seem to perish because we look stupid as hell. We wearing what you call dresses. We're preaching so-called hate speech, you know. Uh, in the presence of you people, you know, we seem to die because cops are against us. Everybody's against us. So just because we're coming in a vibration that's uh, opposite to this world, that's opposing to this world, man, in y'all mind, we're dead or y'all would like to have it such, you know, but I'm going to keep going. And it says, and their departure is taken for misery, man, you know, so if y'all can have it y'all way, man, y'all would give us a grievous, uh, 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 torturous death, man, you know. Uh, I'm going to keep going in the verse three, it says, and they're going from us to this. Uh, and they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace, you know, so that's that's the key thing, man. We we in peace in our minds, man. We're, we're fully persuaded in our minds that we have the truth and we're fully persuaded that there is also a, a savior, man. That's just that's come to coming to redeem us, man, in these latter times, even though we're going through all this hell right now. You know, and I'm talking about brothers that's going out and preaching the word mainly right now. We go out and preach the word and we catch all this hell. People on the comment board scoffing. People talking shit, throwing shit, doing all this out-of-pocket wicked madness, man. Uh, we, we got hope in, in, in a savior that's going to come and deliver us. We also have hope in your destruction too, man. Because the scriptures tell us in Matthew the 12th chapter that uh, you're going to have to, every man is going to have to uh, basically... Be judged for every idle word that they shall speak, man. And that include every wicked act of thought as well. But I'm going to read it says for, uh, for they, verse 4, it says, For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is there a hope full of immortality, man. So in the, in the presence, you proud demons, man, it seems like we getting punished, you know. The cops be trying to trap brothers up, you know, set up situations to the, where they can cart us off, man. But our hope is full of immortality, man. We're not scared of what can happen to this flesh, man, but rather we fear the power, man, that can destroy our soul in hell. So that's why we're going to push with all our might, man, because we know the end game of this whole uh, wicked nightmare that we're in right now, man. But our hope is full of immortality. That's the point. But I'm going to just jump around. I'm going to get another scripture, actually. And because my phone is kind of slow right now, I have to put it. I'll post the scripture in the post-production. I'm going to jump to Romans, uh, the eighth chapter. I'm going to start at the 24th verse. It says, for we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. You know, so that's what we're saved by our hope. And just because people don't see, you know, the actual tangible measure of our hope right now, that's why 
we 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 tend to to perish in their sight right now, man. We're just dead. You know, we're those weirdo clown, uh, hateful for Negroes. You know, that just need to be moved uh, off the earth in their eyes. You know, but I'm gonna go ahead. It says, "For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope." You know, for what man, for what a man seeth, why that, why doth he yet hope for it? So if the Most High had already showed us the kingdom, if, if it was all given to us right now, man, what would be the purpose of hoping for it, man? And having faith in the first place, you know? And that goes into basically faith, which you can uh, go into that in uh, Hebrews the 11th chapter, you know? Uh, but I'm going to keep reading. This is Romans uh, 8 and 25. It says, but if we hope for that, but if we hope for that, uh, we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. So, man, we patiently waiting uh, on salvation we're patiently waiting uh to be able to recompense uh all the wickedness that our enemy has done to us man whether it be the edomites the so-called white man these heathen nations two-thirds of our own people that come up and scoff against us man just every force that's opposing the will of the most high man just seeing that judgment and also at the same time uh, uh being in the position to receive that salvation that was promised man for the elect if we're those men so that's why we patiently go through this uh, hell right now, man. Because we know something way greater, man, is, is, is set before, you know, in the spirit. But with that said, I'm going to go ahead and get one more precept, you know. Uh, this is uh, 1 Peter's. Let me jump to it here. Just bear with me, brothers. This is 1 Peter chapter 1. Hold on, I lost it. Okay, there it goes. It says, uh, this is 1 Peter's chapter 1, verse, I'll start at 8. No, nah, actually, I'm going to start at 13. I'm going to actually start down at 13. It says, uh, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end, for the grace that is to be brought upon you is at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know. So that's basically what we're having to do right now in patience, you know, and, and, and in boldness, man. Uh, I'm going to read that again. First uh, Peter's 1 and 13, it says, wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind. So you got to have a strong mind. Brothers have to be spiritual in this thing, man. Yahweh Shai even said if this was his kingdom, his servants would fight. So we have to understand we're in our captivity right now. So when brothers out bringing the word of the Lord out, we have to do it through wisdom, man. You have to gird up the lines of your mind, your spirit. Be a man. You know, be spiritual, man. This is this is not a carnal thing, you know. The only weapon we got right now uh, is this truth, man. It's, but I'm going to keep going. It says, and hope to the end for the grace of that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So that's what we're hoping for, man. That's why we're uh, putting ourselves in the position, you know, uh, making our bodies a living sacrifice uh, before all these demons right now, man. Because we have hope of the grace that's going to be brought to us when Yahweh Shah reveals himself to all people, man. You know? So that that we're, we know the end game, man. We, we don't have a short-term mind. We're, we're looking at the end game, man. So with that, you know, we, we just got to keep pushing, you know, with the hope of the grace that was promised through Yahweh Shah when he returns, man. That's the whole point of the mission, man. And along the way, keep pushing to gather those men that were set up to be a part of that mission so it can be sealed, you know. So with that, you know, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles, and peace and blessings to the elect, Akim, that's pushing in truth and sincerity. With that, I want to say Shalom.